am I? You are now with me for the time being. Who are you? What is this? Soon, this will be revealed to you. Why are you doing this to me? Why do people do anything? For cheap thrills? For exhilaration? For enjoyment? You enjoy this? No, not yet. That comes soon. So tell me, Philip. Would you like to play a game? Do you want to play Who Wants to be Free from Torture? No, not really. It appears you do not have a choice. Alright then. Good. I'm your host, Regis Jigsaw Philbin. <laughs> Get it? I thought Meredith Vieira hosted that show. Silence! Now, if at any time you get an answer wrong, you'll be tortured in a different fashion. First strike, waterboarding. Second strike, golf cart battery. And third strike, death. Death by what? Simultaneous golf cart battery and waterboarding. What if I answer all the questions correctly? Freedom. But I highly doubt you'll succeed with the level of difficulty of questions that I have prepared. Question number one. Who was the 29th president of the United States? Was it A. Millard Fillmore? It was Warren G. Harding. Yes, but... How did you know that? Well, I have this friend, C, who's really into trivia-based game shows. He would always have this really weird trivia fact for us, but we pretty much just ignored him. But I mean, the team that was, you know, I mean... Hey, guys, did you know that uh, Warren G. Harding was the 29th president of the United States? Yeah, but the QB, though. I mean, come on. Yeah, I mean, he's alright. Yeah, he was pretty weird like that. SILENCE! We'll just move on to the next question. This one you'll never figure out. Question number two. What year and month was Edgar Allan Poe's The Task of Amontillado short story written? Was it A- 1846 November, I believe. What? How did you know? That one was supposed to stump you. Yeah, do you remember that friend I was telling you about? She was there, she saw the whole thing. No, I do not believe it. Just ask her. There's no problem with asking her. Hey, Pensing. guys, did you know that the uh, Cask of Amontillado was written in 1848, November, by Edgar Allan Poe? Anyways, you can just ask her. You just have to talk to her. Hey, guys, uh, do you want to come over to my place and watch old reruns of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I'm in the middle of the Regis years. Uh, why don't you go up ahead and we'll catch up with you later. Okay, see you there. Yeah, the guy was such a bummer at parties. When we we're just trying to have fun, he would be like, Hey guys, did you know that the first World War I tank was constructed in England and was nicknamed Little Willie? Man, the guy was so obsessed. Alright. This is the last one. It's all or nothing. If you don't get this right, I'll kill you. Don't get your hopes up, though. Because this is the hardest one yet. Who was the fifth man to walk on the moon? When did he do it? And what was the shuttle that took him there? Was it, it was... Don't let me finish. Was it A, Buzz Aldrin, 1969? It was Alan Shepard, 1971, Apollo 14. God. from the top levels of who wants to be a millionaire. Even the best couldn't get them right. How? How did you do it? You remind me of someone. Yeah, I don't really know if I want to sit inside and watch TV all day. I'm kind of enjoying it out here. It's kind of hey, exciting. guys. Uh, you coming? I'm ready when you are. Yeah, we'll catch up ahead. You know, you just go ahead. Okay. I'll just be at my house watching who wants to be a millionaire. Like I said, as always. Oh, and uh, one more thing. Jesus Christ.
Christ. Uh, did you know that Alan Shepard was the fifth man on the moon? He was sent in Apollo 14 in uh, 19... Carl! Cut it out! We're just trying to enjoy the day, and you're just buttoned in, trying to spill all your stupid trivia. It's pretentious. It's stupid. Jesus. I'm, I'm not pretentious, aren't I, Phil? No, well, I, well. What? God damn it. You'll see. You'll both see. I'm going to prove to you that I'm the smartest. I am a trivia god. I know more than Regis, Meredith, and Cedric the Entertainer. And you'll bow to me. Well, you know that the hosts don't write their own trivia, right? Yeah, they have researchers on the show that actually- SILENCE! One day, you will realize what it takes to be a trivia master. You will all pay for this humiliation. <laughs> Do you think he meant what he said? No. He's just a whiny baby. Yeah, but... You're kind of bad. You shouldn't. He's a jerk and a bad friend. I say forget about him. How? 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 Carl? God damn it! Carl, where have you been? You've been missing like for two weeks. I was constructing the... <coughs> I was constructing the greatest trivia questions of all time and making this huge torture chamber and then you come along and foil my plans! Oh yeah, John said he did see you in a hardware store buying some zip ties and rope. Oh, John. Well, his memory wasn't good as yours anyway. Oh, he's okay. Hey, Philip. Did you catch the game yesterday? Kinda missed it. I was here. No, sorry. I missed it. Oh. Huh. That's too bad. Wait, why did you say his memory wasn't good? Is this my garage? Yeah, can we leave now? No! You're going to stay here and get tortured for insulting me! And besides, you can't break through those bonds in your wrists. Oh, but just- Ow! Yeah, I wasn't tied up. I just stayed because it was kind of interesting. Yeah, I love trivia-based game shows. Yeah, me too. Wanna go watch them? Yeah, why not? Yeah. <laughs> hey, guys! Hey, guys! Uh, c can I join you? Oh, after the whole threat of torture thing, you know. Yeah, I think we just need to be, you know, separated for a little while. Yeah. You understand. Yeah, see ya, Carl. Yeah, see ya. Did you just game yesterday? It's kind of stuck in there. Oh yeah, we should watch that instead. I DVR'd it. Mm. I hate trivia-based game shows. Yeah, me too. Renew <laughs> my trivia So I cry is everybody hurt? But I will make them pay. Does everybody hurt?